Greetings, Phil McCordick here, and welcome to my workshop where I build all of the fun stuff that I like to build. And here is a science trick you can play on your parents or your friends or your siblings. What you do is you get two glasses or cups and you fill one with water. I added some blue food coloring to this water so you can see it a little bit better on camera. And then you say, you gotta pour the water from this glass into this glass without spilling a drop and without bringing the glasses any closer together. Now, after they struggle for a bit, they'll probably figure out that you can keep the glasses the same distance apart and maybe lift it up like this. But, ugh, that's a little messy. It's a little messy, but possible. Your parents might be able to do that if they have really steady hands. But then you tell them, I bet you I can do it without spilling a drop. And they'll say, how? And you'll go, using the power of science. So here's what you do. Get yourself some string and some science tape, or scotch tape if you don't have any science tape. Cut the string and use the science tape to tape the string to the inside of both cups. Then you pour. Water will flow down the string until you fill up the glass without spilling a drop, or maybe only a couple drops. So there's a few tricks you need to know in order for this to work right. The first is pretty easy. You want to make sure that this string is on the far side of the cup because if it's on the near side of the cup, the string will hit the lip and then the water will actually start dribbling down the outside. The other two tricks you'll only understand once I teach you the science. So what is the science behind this? Why does the water stick to the string and not fall off? Well, the answer is surface tension, mostly. There's cohesion, adhesion, the energetically favorable state of the inertia of the water versus the perpendicular component of gravity as it pours out of the cup, but that gets a little complicated. Now I have another video on the physics of water and you'll understand after watching it why water forms drops, what surface tension is, even what the meniscus effect is. So I highly recommend you watch that video. But in the meantime, let's talk about surface tension. We'll just stick to that subject and sticking is what surface tension is all about. These are water molecules. Red oxygen atom and two white hydrogen atoms, or H2O. Water molecules are attracted to each other. Oh, hello, you are very attractive. Oh my stars, why thank you very much. You're quite attractive too. Oh, I am so attracted to you. I am so attracted to you as well. <clears throat> right, well, what I mean to say is they're attracted to each other like magnets are attracted to each other. In fact, exactly like magnets because the oxygen atom here has a negative charge and the two hydrogen atoms have a positive charge. So just like magnets, the positive and negative charges will attract each other, which means when you get a whole bunch of water molecules together, they're attracted to each other and they clump together just like magnets. Surface tension is caused by water sticking to itself like magnets, like magnets. Now that you know the science, here's the secret. You have to wet the string first. You can't use a dry string and now you know why. Because water likes to stick to other water because Water is magnets. So if there's no water on the string, there's nothing for the water to stick to. And here's what happens with a dry string. See, it's not sticking to the string at all because there's no other water for it to stick to. The other secret is to pour slowly. Because now you know water is being attracted by magnetism, you can also guess that too much water means the water will be too heavy and gravity will win over that magnetism. Now that you know the science behind why this happens, it's time for a new segment I'm calling Experimix. We know that it works like this, so let's start mixing things up, changing things around and see what happens. How about a different string? I'm using jute rope, which is a really heavy kind of rope. And right now the rope is dry and we probably know what that means is that the water is not going to stick. Yep, the water is not going to stick to the rope. So, we've got to wet the rope. Why? Because water sticks to itself because water is magnets. Okay, wetting the jute rope. Let's see what happens. Oh. Hey. 
at that, it works pretty well. In fact, it works even better than the other rope. Now, why would that be? Probably because there's more rope, which means when you wet it, there's even more water molecules to attract the water molecules going down the rope, which means you can have more water molecules on the rope without them falling off. Hey, that's pretty cool. Hmm, what happens if we change the angle of the rope, like we let it bend down quite a bit? Well, it looks like the rope can bend. It doesn't have to go straight. But there's a certain point where you're gonna bend it too much, I think, and then it doesn't work anymore. Okay, I've gone back to my first rope. What happens if we change the angle? What's the minimum angle you can pour it down the string? It looks like it doesn't work very well if the angle is really, really shallow. And I'm thinking the maximum angle is straight down. Yep, that stands to reason. What else can we do to mix it up? Oh, I know. We could always max it out. But before I do, I just want to give a big thank you to those people who support me on Patreon. This video is dedicated to Ellie Connor and her family. Ellie is an amazing science maximite, and she sent me a video of a vinegar and baking soda volcano she did, which was super awesome. Ellie and Ellie's family, thank you so much for supporting me. If you would like to support me and everything I do on Patreon, the link will be below. And and in the meantime, let's get to maxing it out. Maxed out bucket. Maxed out rope. Two story drop. Do not try this at home. Careful. Careful. Getting the flow just right is tricky. Whoa. So I'm not going to do this one without spilling a drop. But I soon figured it out. And sure enough, the water trickled down the rope and dripped into the bucket as slowly. The rocks are there so I didn't pull the empty bucket over while keeping the rope taut. I never appreciated how long it would take to empty a full bucket doing just a tiny trickle at a time. It takes a long time in case you were wondering. But eventually I transferred most of the water from one bucket to the other. <laughs> the whole bucket has been poured from here down the string into that bucket and why? because water is magnets. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and send help because I've forgotten how I got up here. Rufus, Rufus, go get help. Go get the, the fireman and tell him that Phil's trapped on top of the tower. Rufus?